and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be going through step by step manual principle of designing part footage using Procore software. And we will proceed to produce a calculation sheet after which we will also produce a power bending schedule of the design that we have done successfully in this video. So stay connected as we make progress. All right, so after double clicking on the Procon icon on the desktop, you have this interface. All right, so you just navigate to the concrete tab and then in the components panel, you have a path footing. Select it once. So this is the uh, path footing design interface. All right, so in the interface, you can have a kind of quick uh, access to Right here, you can also have file input design calculation uh, sheet, bending, schedule, and app right here. So under input, we have this table where we input all the parameters of the footing as well as the column. And here is the load and the load cases, which we are going to be covering in this video. If you come down, you see input errors. Okay, so here are the input error. Where why you have this input error is because we have not input any of the value for what we have to design here so we are going to clear this successfully mind you in this design we are considering a load of 500 kilonewton and a soil bearing capacity of 200 kilonewton per square meter successfully so at first you give this project a title so in this provision you can give it a title as a design of part footings and stability check after which we will now proceed we have to carry out a calculation so we can be able to get the base length and the width length of the footing successfully based on the applied load and the soil bearing capacity successfully so for us to get the base length and width we are going to be using 1.1 multiply by 500 which is the load okay the 1.1 is assumed to be the self weight of the footings okay okay multiply by the load that is acting on the footing all right so we do equals you have 550 okay this 550 is now 550 kilonewton all right 550 kilonewton now we have to divide it by the soil bearing capacity so you the soil bearing capacity to multiply by the factors of safety of 1.4 okay before you divide by 550 all right so what we do you clear this first and then we will do 1.4 right there you multiply that by the soil bearing capacity of 200 kilonewton per square meter this will give us 280 so we are to do 550 divided by 280 right here it was we have 1.9 so 1.9 we are going to square this to have 1.4 so we are going to be using a footing a square footing of 1.4 by 1.4 that is how we get the steer footing let us make progress so over here we have 1.4 and then we have 1.4 right here okay so for the columns you can see the footings here you can see the code here okay so you can also update this code if you want to change it you come to the file menu right there you see design code so here you can select any of the code you which okay we are dealing with bs8110 okay so click on the okay option and then we go to the column sections we are to try column sections we have 0 0.3 okay by 0 0.3 square column okay just like this so this other provision of e and f e for if we are having two of this column on this footing that is combined footing that is where you use that option all right so after which we have stop column height okay the stop column height is the height of the column itself from the base okay so we use one meter okay so base depth okay which is the footing depth we are going to be considering 0 0.4 for the footing depth okay soil cover all right whether the extent of soil covering the column itself okay we have the extent to go 0 0.7 okay so you can see it right here all right so the next thing is the density of concrete so we are going to be using 25 all right then we have the next options uh soil density we go by 18 all right 
so the soil friction angle so all of this information most of these informations are supposed to be extracted from the soil test all right but based on experience okay i am imputing this all right so for the frictional angle i'll go by 22 okay and then for the base friction uh base friction constant is going to be 0 0.5 just like this and the rebar depth top x okay this simply means concrete cover I will go all through 50, 50, all right, millimeters. So we have the overturning, okay, due to the self weight. We are now having that to be 0 0.9, all right. This is in the code, all right. So you have to check the code, okay. Then we have also the self weight, the self-weight uh, factors of safety due to uh, uh, ultimate living state, okay, is 1.4, all right? And then we have the uh, submissibility living state bearing pressure, okay? So this is used to control the submissibility living state. I will, sh uh, will dwell on this uh, much more later, all right? But at first, we have this to be uh, 250. If this is not enough, okay, we will increase this, okay? So we will not have a, a kind of a excessive uh, failure. Right there okay so we have this is actually meant for returning walls okay so we have the provision to be one and one that is for overturning and slab okay fcu base okay we use 30 and then fcu for the column we also use 30 right there so fy you can see as you are keying in all of this information the input errors is being cleared all right so in this provision we are going to be considering 410 okay so which is the FY, all right? So having keen in all of this, we come to this table where you have the load case. The load case is going to be load case one. Column, we have one and then another one right here, okay? For the overturning uh, safety, we have that to be 0 0.9, okay? And then for the overturning for ultimate limit state, we have that to be uh, one point. We have that to be 1.6. 1.6 base on sorry yeah supposed to be 1.6 all right and this provision is also supposed to be 1.6 so over here we now have 0 0.9 which is what we feed in in these provisions okay and then here we have 1.4 okay all right so for the load we key it in at this very provisions and not the first uh and not the first provisions in this table okay we have that to be 500 so if you carry out your normal calculations, manual calculations, you should be able to have some moment right here. But we are going to be considering a moment 40 kN meters, okay, in the X, while in the Y is going to be negative, uh, negative 15 kN, that's what we'll be using. So there's always an horizontal force, okay, which is the HX, okay, and HY in both sides. Or in both directions successfully so we have here to be 50 and then this provisions you can have it to be minus 40 okay just uh, minus 20 20 right here just like this okay so after keying in all of this input we can now proceed to carry out the design to see if this is designed successfully or if it has failed click on the design tab so here we go, you can see the output for load case 1, this load case could not be solved, okay, because the information is not given. So let's get back and check what could cause that, okay, you get back to the input right there. So over here at the input, okay, what could cause that not to be solved could be the moment that we applied, alright. So the moment might be much, okay, moment might be much, so we can't. We use this moment in this directions from 40 you can make it like 30 okay so moment generated from 500 uh, kilonewton okay so once it is much you know it may not be able to carry out the design successfully so after changing the moment we will now go back to check this again so here we go you can see now that uh, everything have almost passed the design but at the soil pressure at the sensibility limit state we are having some failure yeah so we are going to be using 
the severity limited provision you have at the input to control this okay for the soil pressure for ultimate limit state is 834.6 kN per square meter okay this must be greater than the feed uh the feed uh, soil uh, pressure which we imputed which is greater okay plus the you know uh factors of safety it is greater so this is okay but this one is failing so we need to go increase the sensibility uh limited uh, soil pressure successfully so you get back to the input provision so over here you will not have to come to this uh, maximum sensibility limited bearing pressure we will change here to um let us use 450 right here just like this and then we click on the design to check the design again Alright, this is still failing. We get back there again and then we use 500 and then click on the design. So that is also still failing. We go by 600 design. Alright, so you can see this now as part design successfully. And everything as part design you can see punching share. Okay, you can also see linear share in the y direction and x direction has passed okay for, for for situation where you see any red any red uh figure here yeah? simply means that particular uh parameters has failed so you have to work on it all right so when you see everything like this you should know that yes everything has passed designed okay so we proceed over here we have cost in this course we did make provisions in the input okay this is where you impute the optimizations unit cost of concrete okay like for unit weight you can key in reinforcement in tons okay patterns you can key in and that will calculate the cost go back to the design tab all right so here we go if you key in those value at the cost provisions you will see the figure here yeah? okay but let us proceed to produce our calculation sheet and pending schedule so we click in this provisions of calculation sheet and then you have the calculation sheet right yeah you can use the plus icon here to zoom it so you can see your input data okay if you scroll down you can see the sketch of the base and the load that we used for this design successfully and so these are the calculations raw manual calculations done using procon successfully all right so these are the design procedure which you can check later okay you can join the group chat because i'll upload this in the group chat so you can look at it again so after which you can also produce the abandoned schedule so it's let in this provisions procon we design uh, we draw a bending schedule abandoned schedule just like this for you you can see okay we are being selected to use 4y32 right here then over here bending schedule parameters okay you can see bars you can see suggested okay and then everything is being calculated and then provided successfully okay so if you want to see the 3d of this you can click in this provisions and then this will show you the 3d bar arrangement reinforcement arrangement for the footing and the uh, short pedestal column designed successfully okay so this is all what you need to understand about procon and part footing design if you have any question you can drop it in the group chat and then we'll discuss it or you can drop it at the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned stay connected for more video on procons and other design software if you want to take a special training on this software you can reach to me through the link in the description of this video successfully okay so this we bring this uh section to a stop as we will see in the next presentations stay tuned stay connected and bye for now